Hello everyone, my name is Mayuru Bale. I am an assistant professor in civil department WIT Solapur. So today we are going to study about the basic analysis of rectangular plane sedimentation tank. So what are the learning outcomes? Students will be able to analyze the basic uh, terminologies of rectangular plane sedimentation tank of WTP that is water treatment plant. So let us see in the brief what is sedimentation. It is a removal of suspended particles or colloidal particles by gravitational settling. The reduction of velocity and turbulence of water takes place in the sedimentation tank. So basically we are making it idle or what we can say we are converting the turbulent velocity to the laminar velocity in the sedimentation tank so that the particles which are having the density greater than water they can settle down with the help of gravity. What is plane sedimentation? Plane sedimentation is a system in which particles are settling with the help of uh, what we can say gravity but we are not adding any kind of a coagulants or any kind of a chemicals so that it can increase its efficiency. So whatever happening in the plane sedimentation is happening by natural forces alone. So let us have a few uh, diagrams for plane sedimentation tank. The water is coming from the inlet channel, it is going into a tank, it is passing through the length L which is having the effective length small h. When we are adding the length of freeboard, we are getting the capital H as the total height of the tank. After passing for a particular detention time, the water will be collected in the outlet channel. Whatever the suspended particles which are present, they will be settling at the bottom of the tank and particular slope is given. Generally the slope is 1 in 100 is given at the bottom so that whatever the particles which I have collected at the bottom, they can be taken out. If you can go to the plan, we can also see the breadth is also written. So the terminology is generally used is capital H that is height of tank, small h that is effective height of water in the tank, B is the breadth of the tank and L is the length of the tank. Now the major focus in the presentation is basically for these three parameters. First is average flow of water. What is it? It is the velocity of water passing horizontally through the tank. It is measured in always centimeter per minute. What is the formula for that? Small v is equal to capital Q that is your discharge divided by breadth into small h. Here you can see the breadth is capital B and small h is effective height of water. If you go back to the diagram, you can say breadth is this and height is this. So basically it is a cross section area of a rectangular tank. What is detention time? It is the time taken by water particle to pass through sedimentation tank. So it is a time required by water to be present in the sedimentation tank. So it is defined as capital T and it is having the formula of capital T is equal to capital V divided by Q where capital V is volume of tank and capital Q is discharge of water. What is the third one? It is a overflow rate. What is overflow rate? Overflow rate is the settling velocity of a smallest particle which present in the sedimentation tank which must be removed. It is also called as surface loading rate or surface loading. Fine. Now the surface loading rate generally considered to be capital Q divided by L into B where Q is the discharge, L is the length and B is the breadth of the tank. So if you come back to the diagram you can see L is the length and B is the breadth but particle is settling in a vertical direction but the area we are taking is not cross section but it is the surface area that is length into breadth that you have to remember while calculating the surface overflow rate or surface loading or SOR. Now all these terminologies can be explained easily by taking one problem or example. So what is the example problem? A rectangular sedimentation tank which is having a size of 17.5 that is your length multiplied by 5.5 meter that is your breadth 
मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री पॉइंट फाइव मीटर विच इज योर हाइट ई इज ट्रीटिंग टू पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन एस टू सिक्स लीटर्स पर डे ऑफ वाटर सो इट इज योर डिस्चार्ज इफ एटी पी पी एम सस्पेंडेड इंप्यूरिटीज आर प्रेजेंट इन द वॉटर एंड एज्यूमिंग सेवेंटी परसेंट रिमूवल टेक्स प्लेस इन द सेडिमेंटेशन टैंक हैविंग द स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी एज टू पॉइंट जीरो we have to determine first average flow of water through the tank detention time deposition of impurities in the tank and overflow rate so what first what we have to do we have to write down its what we can say terminology is first that is size of rectangular tank which is given to us from which what we can write length that is capital l will be 17.5 meter capital b will be 5.5 meter capital h will be 3.5 meter as the size of tank is given but we also have to find out the effective height of the water in the tank which is defined as small h as the free board value is not given we can assume and which is generally considered to be the same value that is your free board as 0.5 meter so what will be the small h small h will be the total height or capital h minus free board height so what it will become 3.5 minus 0.5 which is equal to be 3 meters so quantity of water which is to be treated that is capital q will be 2.5 into 10 to 6 liter per day suspended particles that is 80 ppm remove uh, in the tank 70% specific gravity 2 these are the given first we have to find out the capacity of tank that is capital v will be total that is l into b into h by which by doing the calculations we will be getting capital v as 288.75 meter cube we also have to calculate how much quantity of water in meter cube per hour the quantity of water passing through the sedimentation tank which is given to be 2.5 into 10 to 6 which is our capital q to convert it in meter cube per hour what we have to do we have to first divide into 24 that is liters per hour we will be getting which will be 104 uh, uh, 166.6 liters per hour and when we are converting it into meter cube we can get 104.166 meters cube per hour now first what is the uh, average flow rate of water average flow that is small v is always equal to q that is discharge divided by cross sectional area that is given to small h so q we know 104.166 meter cube per hour divided by 5.5 into 3 meters by which we will be getting 6.3 meter per hour but it is in hours and how we have to find it in centimeter per minute so we just we have to multiply 100 by 60 to which we will be getting centimeters per minute so we will be getting the value 10.5 centimeters per minute that is your uh, horizontal velocity second is retention time it is volume of tank divided by discharge that is capital v by q which will be 288.75 meter cube Divided by 104.166 meter cube per hour, by which we will be getting the detention time in hours. That is 2.77 hours. Similarly, in the step three, we have to calculate the deposition of impurities. How many suspended particles are going to settle down at the bottom? We have to find out quantity of water we know, which is given to us. That is 2.5 into 10 to 6 liters per day. concentration is also given that is 80 ppm just you have to multiply and convert it into the liters how we can do that quantity of suspended particles will be equal to 2.5 into 10 to 6 multiply by 80 divided by 10 to 6 by which we will be getting in liters that is 200 liters to convert it into meter cube it will become 0.2 meter cube as 1 meter cube is 1000 liters the average specific gravity is also given that is 2 hence its density will become 2000 kg per meter cube therefore overall weight we can calculate but there is a addition to it that is 70% removal is there so you have to multiply it by 0.7 also so how it will form 2 0.2 multiply by 0.7 multiply by 2000 in kg by which we can get 280 kg of suspended particles will be settling down per day now how to calculate the overflow rate we know the formula discharge divided by plane area or surface area q by l into b 
Therefore, it will become 104.166 multiplied by 10 raised to 3 as we are taking it in liters per hour divided by 17.5 multiplied by 5.5 meters square by which we will get 1082.24 liters per hour per meter square. Suppose you needed to find out in meters cube instead of liters you will not take this as 10 raised to 3 but you will directly take 104.166. So let us have few review questions. First, SOR of sedimentation tank is always inversely proportional to plane area of tank whether this statement is true or false. Detention time of rectangular plane sedimentation tank is increases by reducing the length of the tank, reducing the breadth of the tank, reducing the overflow rate of the tank or reducing height of tank. Third one, velocity of water is independent of dash of the tank, length, breadth, flow rate or height. What are the right answers? Please pause this video for a few minutes, think about these questions and try to get these answers. I will just move forward. SOR of sedimentation tank is always inversely proportional to the plane area of tank. This statement is true. Detention time of rectangular plane sedimentation tank is always increases by reducing the flow rate of the tank. Velocity of water is all independent of length of the sedimentation of the tank. These are the references I have used to make this presentation. Thank you.